Chinese New Year 2024 with my cousin Boo. It's time for last week's episode 164. Let's go! my fellow G walkers to another episode of live from last week hope last week has served you well just a quick shameless plug before we go on want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel so after coming off a decent night shift this morning and being too excited for my day off getting this much post night shift napping that's right guys you read that correctly i was really excited to try something on that i was hyping up to you guys just last week, I may have saw my latest Facebook Marketplace purchase, of which I'll reveal to you with this little clue for you guys for next week's episode. Running to the mini and quickly changing to reveal my latest Facebook Marketplace purchase, living out a childhood dream in my brand new Pokemon Ash Ketchum costume. And while driving today, I don't know if you guys had noticed, but I did get a little bit of a discount on this getup, as this costume package only came with one single glove. But guys, luckily I was ready today, bringing a spare pair of gloves with me to wear with this costume. And going back to this scene a couple weeks back, on a day where I was set to go for bubble tea with my buddy Cammy, just like we did in the summer, but had to cancel, well, today, I reunited with my buddy, Cammy to catch up and make use of our previously rain-checked bubble tea hangout. Yo, Cammy, did I trip you out? Yep, you look like Ash Ketchum. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> Alright, let's go! So, we went to our usual BBT hotspot at Midland and Finch called Morning, where I got my usual jumbo-sized morning pearl milk tea bubble tea. And cheers, Cammy, to yet another successful bubble tea run. We then went to spend some time over at the beautiful Millican Park, walking on the paths in the winter weather here, and pretending to look for Pokemon in the forest slash bushes areas of the park. Like you're throwing a ball. Like this. Or do this. Then, after parting ways with Cam, I picked up a wife from the condo, taking her on a search for some ski boots for this winter season, but with her wanting to think it over for a little bit before making this spontaneous purchase. Anyways, afterwards, for dinner, we went to a local hotspot that we haven't been to in a while, going to Hana Ramen in Scarborough, where the wife obviously didn't want to be seen with me in public, but still wanted to have some of these delicious bowls of ramen with her husband. And after chowing down and finishing our first bowl of noodles here, we just had to take advantage of their one free extra serving of noodles that come along with each order of ramen. But yeah, back at the condo, we'll just wrap up this evening with a quick birthday shout out to one of my high school friends out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Elena. Happy birthday, Elena. We next got a birthday shout out to one of my university classmates of whom I used to have classes with back in our days at Ryerson. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kelly. Happy birthday, Kelly. And lastly, we got a birthday greeting to one of my longtime friends of whom I feel like I haven't hung out with since this live from last week episode. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Elmer. Happy birthday, Elmer. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So first of all, I want to start off today's segment with a quick birthday shout out to one of my FGAR friends from back in our Ryerson days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Patrick. Happy birthday, Patrick. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So yeah, recalling how yesterday, I only got a quick little tiny post night shift nap in. I thought that I would at least be able to sleep in a little bit last night. But guess what happened, guys? 
My body instead woke me up after only five hours of sleep. So I tried to be productive before the sun came out. Working on some live from last week episode videos for a little bit. Editing and eating some leftovers until the sun actually did come out. Before dropping off the wife to an appointment like we did last time we were here at Skin Republic. And going to Fairview Mall for a little bit. Waiting for her here, editing some videos in the food court until she was done. Then picking her up with her new and refreshed, revitalized face. Wow, nice new face again. Yes, who it is? <laughs> we next went to the Costco near Yorkdale to do some weekday grocery shopping in this very busy place while managing to eat our lunch by trying sample after sample after sample, after sample. Before visiting our friends, Dee and Jobert, to introduce ourselves to this friendly little pup named Chewy, who we just might be dog sitting sometime in the future. But yeah, quickly throwing it back to this scene from last week, I decided to go to my local post office to send off a gift to a buddy of mine sending him an autographed photo of UFC legend Frankie Edgar. Well, my buddy Brian let me know that he actually received this baby in the mail earlier this morning. Of which I'm pretty glad to make your day with that surprise, Brian. And I'm looking forward to reuniting and catching up with you sometime in the future, bro. Now, from one surprise to another... Going back to when I went to one of the last open days of the recently closed Famoso. Well today, the wife was surprised with this gift that I had for her frozen in the freezer. Where she finally took it out and reheated it in the oven. And enjoying that present that I had saved her for her dinner tonight. You would think that after getting only 6 hours of sleep in the span of 48 hours that I would be able to sleep in. But once again guys, my body had woken me up after only 5 hours of sleep at the early hour of 6 a.m. So trying to be productive again, this guy spent his whole day working on Live From Last Week episode videos from morning until the afternoon while trying to take naps between his edits here and there while watching in the background a cartoon that I used to watch when I was younger in my childhood, of which I forgot just how hilarious this show was, being the one, the only, Futurama. And also distracting me from working on my videos today was the wife after getting her nails done prior to her Puerto Rico trip, coming home to show off to me her new set of nails that she recently got post-travel. Anyways, this evening, after being stagnant, laying pretty much on the couch all day, and before I get attacked by these geeses in the parking lot, it's time to show you guys what exactly I did for exercise today. Going earlier to a pickup session of indoor volleyball in Midtown Toronto. <laughs>
yet again, guys, it happened. My body just decided to wake up after it almost hit the six hour of sleep mark. So much like I did yesterday, I started my day off by opening up the laptop and editing some live from last week videos before the time of the sunrise. Then around noontime, hosted Tita Mone for a visit here at the condo. Oh, nice hair, mom. With her having me lug around this from her car, a printer to bring back to the condo so that she can print out a couple of documents with our help for her upcoming trip, as well as enjoy some lunch with us. Having this amazing and delicious dishes that are one of my favorite that the wife had made called Nilaga. Anyways guys, tonight I'm just resting up, chilling and watching the Raptors game in the background. Oh. Doing my daily push-ups and as well as my daily stand-up sit-ups, which pretty much wraps up all the events that I've had on this nice relaxing day off. And with that, we'll catch you guys again tomorrow. So firstly today, I want to throw a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends out there who I remember going to house parties with back when we were in Mississauga. This birthday shout out goes out to you EJ. Happy birthday EJ. I'm hoping that at this time you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But now on to the events of today, where every year around this time, I'm breaking out my Toronto Raptors Chinese New Year jersey, ready to celebrate Lunar New Year 2024. Happy Lunar New Year, everyone! So this year, as you guys can see behind me, I'm currently at Markham's Pacific Mall, traveling here with my lucky dragon that I got at Mandarin a couple weeks back to see what festivities they have for this year's Chinese New Year slash Lunar New Year 20. 24. chilling at home after that fun time celebrating Chinese New Year earlier, with it being the Year of the Dragon, and us having a surprise guest star slash dragon themselves join us. Yo, Louis! What's up? Year of the Dragon. It's about me, guys. <laughs> I got my first red envelope given to me by the MPP of Richmond Hill, Daisy Y. Oh, oh thank you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Ready? One, two, three. Cheese. Yes. You. Thank you. To make delicious dumplings. Which Lou later opened up and revealed what was inside. Lou, what'd you get? Together. Oh. This is a uh, hand gesture <laughs> of uh, Gong Hei, which means I wish you, okay? I also got to enjoy a performance that I was waiting a couple of hours to see. The main reason why I attended this event, and that was to watch live and in person, the one, the only, Lion Dance. <laughs> After 
afterwards, Lou and I headed upstairs to Foodie Boy to get some patented Hong Kong style milk tea, where the server complimented on seeing the little dragon with me. Little dragon. Oh, you like yeah. my dragon? Okay, and follow us on Foodie Boy Beauty the IG. Oh, okay, up there. IG Beauty. Thank you. Okay. IG Thank you. Thank you. And had me pick out a red envelope from their brew. Choose your own destiny. Ooh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Yeah. Next, Lou and I enjoyed our hot milk teas while walking around in the mall, seeing this shop that was pretty new to us, which had these giant white rabbit stuffies here. What? Before going to get yet another tea, but this time with bubbles. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, good. As you guys know, my second bubble tea of the week. Then, after parting ways with Lou, since it was the year of the dragon, with my Chinese New Year little dragon all buckled up in the mini again, I decided to pay a quick little visit to the legendary Dragon Center in Scarborough to walk through the hallways like I did when I was a child, bringing back old memories of the restaurants we used to go to when my parents brought me here, which are now unfortunately not as populated as they once were back in the 90s. I then got home to surprise the wife with a couple of Chinese New Year's gifts that I got along the day. Happy Chinese New Year! Take one, and this one is for you. Red packet. What'd you get? Ah! <laughs> at the same time. It's a $2. Woo! Before opening my own red envelope that I got a little bit earlier on. <laughs> Free curry fish balls. But yeah, finishing up the night, I bought the wife and I a couple of tickets to a show that we've always wanted to go to. An early Valentine's Day gift of which is of the burlesque parody type of genre, which are temporarily on sale that we will watch later on this month. Getting tickets to the burlesque parody of The Empire Strips Back. So being stubborn, staying up and going to bed at 4 o'clock this morning, this guy only got four hours of sleep. And realizing that I didn't leave any eggs at the condo for the wife to come home to post-shift, who is definitely disappointed in me when she came home this morning, I jumped straight up out of bed to go to the store to pick up some eggs so that she can make this delicious breakfast feast for us and that I could put this smile back on her face. And after being able to catch up on a little bit of rest, almost hitting my six hours of sleep mark in 24 hours again. I went to the Our Lady of Fatima Shrine in Scarborough to attend Sunday afternoon Catholic Mass before I head back to the condo to rest up since I'm going in for my first of my scheduled three night shifts tonight. But prior to doing that, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of the biggest Dance Mom supporters that I know back in the crowd cheering for us during our dance competition days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Susan. Happy birthday, Susan. And we've got a birthday shout out to one of my former co-workers who you guys know has made several cameos in previous Live From Last Week episodes. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jason. Happy birthday, Jason. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after a busy and stressful code white beginning slash Siwa hallucination type of night shift, I had this surprise picking up the wife coming from her own night shift herself, who this morning fed me some sushi for breakfast on our commute home. And after stopping by No Frills this morning, for the first time since this Laugh From Last Week episode in the past, I was able to see off in the distance the person who would drive the scooter with the green covering on their morning commute. But moving on, after getting a decent post-night shift nap and getting ready to go in for my second on my scheduled three night shifts tonight, 
we just have a quick birthday greeting to this youthful guy who we last saw when we dropped him off at the airport just a couple weeks back. This birthday shout out goes out to the one, the only, Tito Eddie. Happy birthday, Tito Eddie. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And well, with that guys, we'll wrap up this week's Live From Last Week episode right here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there. And we'll see you next time on Live From Mass Week.